Starting off this episode of learning with Satori with one of the harder to learn skills. The skill is Leaf Shield, and you can only get it from the Sunflower Fairy with a sword in areas M through Q of the Garden of the Sun, if it appears with a Basilisk or a Cockatrice. I recommend using I as Tengu support on Biakarin so she uses Charming Fragrance immediately. Using the Hinotori Skydance formation, if it uses the skill, it should always hit the lower left member. Putting full points into Satori's learning growth tree should give you a 100% chance of learning it if you are hit with it. Now to finish the battle. Cutting back in an odd spot to show you a little glitch that happened randomly. I have no idea how it happened. But you can't interact with it or anything, I've only seen this one time on the Depressed Eeyore's video. But it was in the Scarlet Devil Mansion, so... That's something, I guess. I also accidentally got a formation off screen. This formation you get by going back to examine Chen after the event in which you see her in agonizing pain. Ah, well, moving on to Ante. And the next skill, after this failed attempt at learning Stigma. Except the Yukari appeared instead. But eh, not a bad thing considering one of Aya's skill trees prevents surprise attacks. Defeated for an easy 1010 experience, as well as a power-up. The next skill in which I failed to learn is Whale. On the wiki, this skill was labeled as Warcry, so it may or may not have taken a while for me to get the skill. It's not very easy, but you can control the enemy to use the skill. Yukari sisters have appeared. With this team, it's possible to beat it before it gets a turn if you Tengu support Satori to use Tentacle while Yomu uses Yukari Slash. Should deal exactly 6 health. Unfortunately, Yukari Slash missed. But, but, I was lucky enough to where it didn't run. Thus, being able to kill it for even more experience. Illusionary Dominance would have been better than Tango support here. This clip is to show you how not to learn Stigma from the Yaksha. Same with this clip. Now, despite the last two clips, this clip is the correct way to not only deflect, but also to avoid attacks. It is also the correct way to learn stigma. Now to kill the final enemy with a small tap. Which will bring us to the next skill which is... Acid Storm. I failed to learn it but there's still another clip in which you can apparently control the slimes. The rest is confusing though. Slimes are weak to fire. Instant death also helps, though. Next, we head towards Yukai Mountain. Another healing spell, so Tengu support charming is the way to go. The Red Eyes formation is one of the best ones for learning healing spells. Satori has a 100% chance to learn this skill when hit by it if you max out her healing, her learning tree. Now for Yomu to end the fight with Kampaku Slash, which brings us to the next skill in the pond area, Venom Zapper. That didn't work though, so then Satori died, which was kinda bad, so let's get a shield from a plant instead. The Mana Shield, which is an upgraded enchanted shield that you get from the Hell Mendoza in the Palace of the Earth Spirits. Suddenly, another Yukari sisters appears. I do pretty much the exact same thing as last time, and it goes down just the same. With the same ridiculous EXP drop, with the added bonus of a level up this time. Back to learning the Zapper attacks, starting with not Venom Zapper, but instead going for the slightly more deadly Death Zapper, which I succeed at getting. Then, instant death for the irony, which, of course, will succeed. Bringing us to the final zapper, Venom Zapper, which was learned with only Biakarin getting poisoned, followed by Yomu once again finishing off the battle with a buffed up Slash of Eternity and another power up. 
More learning failure. I felt this one more than I did most others, but here's the end result. I managed a Yukai Mountain Rock and a Fire Shard. And finally, I learned Will-O-Wisp. What better way to celebrate than by overkill? This enemy is weak to water, so I enchanted Yomu's weapon to make it water elemental. Next, I raised her attack tenfold using Byakurin, and the end result is me murdering Yomu due to a curse, as well as getting another fire shard. Alice got a level up too. I'm not good at ending, so take a picture of an enemy stuck in the wall instead. There's a jelly bean in my pants.